Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be doing the July BoxyCharm unboxing. Um, I'm wearing my mask for safety. No, I'm kidding. I'm going to take this off because it's very hot. Um, I actually wanted to wear it to show you, to make a point. I've been watching a lot of uh, videos. I've been reading a lot about how lipstick is over because of the whole issue going on in the world right now. Lipstick does not need to be over. Um, because there's no lipstick on the inside of my mask. You see that? Nice and clean. Not a, not a speck of lipstick. We have to wear the right lipstick during these difficult times. So you can still wear a bright lip in the summer. And uh, today I am wearing this Maybelline. And this is in the color Heroin. So it's um, a great product because that's why I bought almost every color they make. They don't move. I mean, it takes oil to break them down. So if you have like an oily meal, you'll see a little breakdown. Some of the colors can be a little more dry. Um, that's been my experience. But I have to say that if you want to wear lipstick in these difficult times, this is one of the brands that you want to go with. Also, uh, Jeffree Star Liquid Lips dry down very nicely. Most of the colors, I believe all the colors I have, uh, don't also don't wear off. Dose of Colors also is another one. So there's a bunch of brands that you can look to and um, it's trial and error. I mean, honestly, just put them on, let them dry down and touch them with a, a paper towel. If nothing comes off, they're probably going to be okay in a mask. Anyway, so this is the July BoxyCharm. I actually get my BoxyCharm around the 13th of the month. I think it has to do with when you join. Um, I would prefer to get it when everybody else gets it, but whatever. Uh, I don't know if the billing cycle, I, I really honestly never researched it. I just get it like the 13th, 12th or 13th. So there's a million videos already about this, I'm sure. But I wanted to do one because I've never done a BoxyCharm unboxing. And I actually did a test video last week, which I haven't put up. Uh, because God knows there's a margin for error <laughs> making a YouTube video. So there was a lot of stuff I need to edit out of that. But in that video, I talk about BoxyCharm because a lot of the products that I did use for that uh, were things I got at BoxyCharm, from BoxyCharm. And um, a lot of things I liked, some stuff I didn't like so much. And I talked about how I joined BoxyCharm with the idea that I would be getting makeup all the time. And how sometimes you're disappointed when you get a lot of hair products when do I look like I do my hair. Uh, and you, and sorry uh, for the back. Uh, we've been living here. We moved um, to this house about three months ago. And I went around pl putting plaster in the holes in the wall throughout the house because the people that lived here, it's like they hung something on every possible surface in this house. And if you could see how many white dots are throughout the house, it's crazy. So excuse the way the wall looks in the background. I haven't painted. I'm still deciding on colors um, for the room. I have swatches up that you can't see. So it, it may be some time before we see that, but I'm trying a different angle and you know, you can see uh, all my stuff is around, but I said, let me just sit here so you don't see the mess that's on the other side. So anyway, let's get to the BoxyCharm unboxing. So we have our card and this month's theme is sunshine, appropriate because it's been very hot. Um, I'm going to pop that to the side and the first thing that we are going to pull out of here is a color switch, a color switch pan. Uh, this is the Quick Color Switch Dry Makeup Brush Cleaner. Is the company lavish? I guess the company is lavish. Yes, the company is lavish. Um, thanks. I have several of these already. Um, okay, thank you, BoxyCharm. Uh, the next thing that's in here is a Studio Makeup Endurance Cream Eyeshadow. Okay. Um, okay. I have a lot of these and I actually uh, just yesterday brought uh, four more. Actually, I shouldn't say that. Rewind and correct. Um, I yesterday went to TJ Maxx and I got a 
Too Faced, Too De Fruity glitter eyeshadows. So I like those. And they they were originally $24. When Ulta has sales on them, they go down to $12. But they had them at TJ Maxx for $5. So they only had two left. And they, frankly, there was only one that I wanted. And I got lucky. The color that I wanted was one of the two. So I got it. And also while I was there, uh, I grabbed the three-pack mini Stilla eyeshadow. So I just got, I think this color um that's okay um because i what what is this anyway this is uh i'm blind this is scs-11 pink okay this this is pink this looks okay if they say so um i have a lot of cousins that love makeup so they like to call my house mephora because despite what you see here I own a tremendous amount of makeup. So whenever they come, I let them go shopping. So they call my house Mephora. Okay, so the next thing we have here is 111 Skin Harley Street London Pollution Defense Booster. Okay. So, yeah. Boxy charm. Okay. So, yeah, I moved away from the city and the air smells so wonderful here. And I know there's pollution everywhere, but I have a lot of this stuff already. And I really, this is kind of what I was talking about. Don't get me wrong. I like a good skincare product and I like to get um, the higher end products. You know, like I got a Dr. Brent uh, Hydro Mask. I forget what the title of it. I got one of those from Box Charm. I love that product. But this but so many face creams anybody can have. I mean, honestly, you start combining weird things that may not play well together and you start to get little imperfections on your skin and I I don't need more face product. I mean, I I honestly I feel like I'm starting to see less makeup. Last Boxy Charm, I was happy I got the two palettes and honestly they weren't good palettes but they were palettes at least um but okay booster defense anti-pollution um providing multi-action protection against pollutants and screen emitted artificial visible light this essential booster utilizes defense peptide peptides and antioxidants to safeguard skin from the damaging effects of daily aggressors in order to maintain a healthy complexion and it says, shake well before use. Mix one to two drops into the palm of your hand with your favorite moisturizer. Oh, or apply directly to your skin after cleansing. I'm going to open this. I, I'm, I'm, now I'm curious to see what it looks like. Um, but if I can mix it with moisturizer. Okay. It looks like um, a bootleg version of one of the Shiseido products. <laughs> That's okay. Um... Again, I have cousins that might like that. Not that this gorgeous and young and beautiful with collagen-filled faces. They don't need, uh, well, you know, I guess everybody needs pollution defense, but uh, they're not damaged and broken yet like, like us older folk are. Uh, the next thing here is uh, by the company Grace and Stella. It's an eye mask, anti-wrinkle and energizing eye mask. Boxy Charm, are you trying to tell me something? I mean, my God, I know there's days I wake up and I'm like looking a little haggard, but sweet Lord, I feel like I'm getting more complexion products than I am actual makeup. And I have to say, it makes me sometimes think about canceling because I got this, this subscription because I said to myself of the ones that I had researched, this one seemed to be uh, the subscription box that was going to have the most makeup in it. And lately... It's like hit and miss. Sometimes I'm like, oh, makeup. And then other times it's like, what is all this hair and, and face stuff? I, I don't want so much of that. I, I don't mind a product in the box, but what are we looking at here? So far, there are one, two, three non-makeup items. Three non-makeup items. I haven't got to the last thing yet. So let's see what the last thing is. And then there's one thing left, and it looks like it might be a palette. Thank God. Uh, and we will get to the prices of everything after. So this is, uh, I believe this is pronounced Ace Beauty, right? I don't know why they have an accent. 
above maybe people say beauté we're gonna say that anyway um <laughs> like we say tage so ace beauty bronzed in paradiso no paradise i'm trying to be italian um okay so this is ace beauty palette this is cruelty free product according to the back here and let's see what it looks like okay this is not an eyeshadow palette bronzed in paradise monica it's a bronze palette a bronzer palette so it's pretty but i think that i will probably only get use out of the first two possibly the third um i i don't really use bronzer too tough cousins again oh there i am um so I'm probably not going to use this. I'll be honest with you. I have bronzers and I don't really, I don't really use that stuff. I mean, I know it's the Instagram thing. Most people love using it. They want to get that warmth in their face. I, I'm not a big fan of it, honestly. I mean, I'll, I'll use it. And sometimes it's like, oh, it's really nice. Especially if I had a little, little touch of sun that day and it gives that extra little glow. It's okay. But I'm probably not going to use that. I'm probably going to give that away. Uh, it, I got excited. I thought it was an eyeshadow palette because I love eyeshadow. Just send me eyeshadow and lipstick. Maybe some blush and highlighter. I'm good with that. Um, but no, no, BoxyCharm. Of everything that's in there, this is the only thing. The Studio Makeup Endurance Cream Eyeshadow. This is the only thing that I would probably use or like to use and honestly i have this color i'm certain that i have this color if i look through my um cream eyeshadows i'm certain that i have this color um it's okay but you guys honestly i think like next month is going to be my decision uh making moment as to whether or not i'm going to continue to do boxycharm because there are other subscription boxes i watch a lot sorry i'm uh, like all over the place there's a lot of subscription uh, boxes that I see a lot of influencers when they do their unboxing of other uh, subscription boxes and it seems like they get a lot of makeup like makeup makeup and that's what I want I think BoxyCharm is I don't I don't know what's going on there I just not so much not so much for me okay so anyway let's talk about how much these things cost because sometimes that's like what uh <laughs> how much does that cost so this 111 Skin Pollution Defense Booster, which is uh, 0.68 fluid ounce, it's not even an ounce of, of product in here, 0.68 fluid ounces. According to this, this is um, $135. $135. So I'm going to have to look this up. Maybe it is $135. I'm going to look that up. And maybe I'll edit something in at the end um, when my husband shows me how to, how to do that. But I am going to have to look that up because $135 seems a little steep for something that's not even an ounce. Um, I expect those kind of product prices from like La Mer products. This is, I never heard of this. Maybe this is popular in the UK because it is Harley Street, London. Uh, so I'm going to look at that. $135. It's not even an ounce of product. Like, let's be real. Things are expensive. I love makeup. And um, I really, really do my research. I watch a lot of videos. And I like to... I'm not the best at putting it on. I, honestly, I work on my eyeshadow. Sometimes I nail it. Sometimes I don't. Aging skin. Uh, but I do my research. And I don't want to spend $135 on a product. I mean, I didn't. It came in a BoxyCharm. But... That's not something I think I would buy even if it was cheaper, honestly. Um, do you know what I could do with $135 if I if I had to buy that product? I'd, I'd actually buy a Pat McGrath palette for the first time because uh, that's something I've never bought either because, come on, beautiful. But honestly, um, I think I would buy a Pat McGrath palette for like one of those duochrome shadows. She should sell them as singles, honestly. I think she's missing an opportunity because... A lot of people cannot afford to buy that palette. I can. I just won't. Um, I just, I, I don't think I'd be able to sleep right. I think I would return it the next day because I'd have buyer's remorse. Um, I'm like looking all over the place. I have to use my other camera. I'm using my phone right now. So 
I'm looking at myself. It's the easiest thing for me to do. And I know it looks like I'm looking down. So I'm trying to look there. So sorry about that. So the Studio Makeup Endurance Cream Shadow, which is probably the only thing that I would use, is $25. Now, I got to be honest with you. This is probably not something I would buy either because for $25, I'm going to buy Stila because I know the Stila products and I know they work and I like them and they come in a variety of colors, which I think I have this very same color. So this is probably not something I would purchase either for not for $25. Definitely not. Um, but I'm going to try it. I want to see if it performs as well. I, I'm going to give this company its fair chance and I'm going to use this product. I'll probably do a review. I'm not doing anything today. It's so hot. Um, but I am going to review this and maybe I'll do one and one of the same color. See if we could tell them apart and see how they perform. So yeah, that, that sounds like a plan. I'll do that and I'll actually do uh, one type of one color and the other. You know what I mean? Everything's going to be the same color, different brands, and we'll see which one performs better. We're going to do that. Yeah. So again, I'll give it a fair chance, but I have this color. I'm sure anybody that uses cream eyeshadows uh, has this color. Most people have this color. So that's $25. I don't know. So the Ace Beauty Bronzed in Paradise palette is $30. I guess, I don't know. I don't really use uh, a bronzer again. I don't really use bronzer. I don't know how much um, realistically something like this would cost normally. Um, I know that the popular... A physician's formula, uh, the Murumuru Butter Bronzer, that can be uh, $15 to $17 depending on where you get it. Most times, if you're smart, you wait for it to be on sale and you can grab it for like $12. Um, but that works fine. It has a beautiful sheen. The times that I have used uh, bronzer, that's one of the ones that I've used. And I, I liked it. It gave a nice finish. Uh, but I don't know what this would cost. I mean... You can let me know because you guys probably know more than I do. So you guys let me know how much something like this uh, would be worth. It's pretty packaging. I like it. Um, I do like this packaging. I just thought it was an eyeshadow palette. I was very disappointed. So the next thing is the Grace and Stella Anti-Wrinkle Energizing Eye Mask. Apparently, oh, okay. So apparently there's 12 pairs of masks in here. So that's $21. I mean, listen, let's see how they work. It says suffering from dark circles. Yes. Puffy eye bags. Yes. Fine lines and general fatigue around your eyes. Yes and yes. Perk them up as if you've just had eight hours of sleep with these eye masks. They revitalize and rejuvenate the tired eyes, leaving you looking more awake and youthful. Okay, so... Let's see how that works. I'll, I'll uh, again, when I try these products, I'll mention in the future. I'm going to keep a little list of things that I say that I'm going to check. Because uh, a lot of the time, some of the influencers that I watch say they're going to check something or they're going to do something and then you never see it because they forget. It happens because they're doing so much. Um, they're doing so many things, reviewing so many things that they may forget. Uh, I'm going to make a little list because when people make claims like this, uh, we'll see, but $21 for 12 mask, depending on the mask. I mean, you could get a mask in, in a pharmacy for a dollar. And I mean, at the end of the day, you're going to read the ingredients. And a lot of these things, the first ingredient is water. So it's not like, you know, and, and glycerin and what's Christmas powder. I don't even know what that is. So we'll see. I'll try it out. Uh, $21 for 12 mask. Okay. We'll try it. I'll let you guys know how, uh, Grace and Stella. Um, reminds me, I have to call my friend Stella. Mm, I miss her. Um, okay. So what's next? Uh, lavish, this color, color switch thingy. So in case you guys don't know, I'm sure everybody on the planet who does makeup or at least does eyeshadow, uh, when they do their makeup knows what a color switch is. If you don't, I will open it just so you can see what it looks like. It's just basically like a, a rough little, um, what are they called? Is this, it's not a foam, right? It is kind of like a foam, I guess. It comes out. I'll take it out. So you can see it's like a little thing. It looks like a scrubby that you would do dishes with, but not as rough. 
and you take your brush when you want to change colors and you don't have maybe you like that one brush and you want to use it again uh, and you don't have uh, another one so you just take it and you rub it around in there and it takes off the powder and then you can dip it into a completely different color without having like a transfer so they they are good products um i happen to have a couple of these already though i guess you can never have too many uh maybe i'll give it to one of my cousins because i do have them and honestly how many of these do you need unless they're like falling apart which mine are not um and i actually got a color switch pan in the frida set that i bought from ulta the frida eyeshadow palette uh, if you bought the set, it, it came with the uh, Frida Color Switch. It's a rectangular, very, very, very cute. Um, so I'd probably give this away too. So of everything that I have here, I am probably going to keep uh, two, two things. I'm probably going to keep the mask and I'm probably going to keep this uh, 111 skin just to see uh, if it does what it says it does. I don't know. I mean, it, it's not really making any claims other than it protects you from pollution. I mean, I feel like my family that lives closer to the city might benefit from this. I live in the woods. So I'm not really around a lot of pollution anymore, thank God. I mean, it is everywhere, but somebody else might benefit from that. So I'm probably only gonna keep the um, eyeshadow just to do the comparison. So I feel like this month, BoxyCharm was a bust. I do. And, um, some people may like these products, and that's not to say if you like these products, I'm saying anything wrong about that. They're just not for me. I mean, at the end of the day, we all join uh, subscription boxes because we're hoping for certain items to come. You know, if I joined a snack um, subscription box and they started putting in makeup, I'd be like, well, what is this? I wanted the snacks, so I wanted makeup and I'm getting skincare. And I remember um, I was on the BoxyCharm site and I remember you had to answer some questions, but just because I'd be interested in something doesn't mean I want it in my box every month. And I feel like, I don't know, I, I know that they have to um, get these new companies out there and that's fine, I'm good with that. But there's so many uh, indie brands that they could be, sending us. I mean, I would really like to try a lot of the indie brands that are out there in the world. Why can't BoxyCharm uh, get into bed with these people, so to speak, and make business plans and, and get these indie brands out there? Because these brands, Ace Beauty, um, I've heard of Ace Beauty. I like their eyeshadows, actually. I wish I would have got an Ace Beauty eyeshadow. This is probably good, and it's not to disparage this product in any way. It's just not something I would use. So I feel like BoxyCharm, uh, maybe you should tweak your system a little better so that the, the consumer can say, I don't want this stuff at all. Maybe you have. I got to go back on the site again, but this is not stuff I really want. I like, I want to be able to check off eyeshadow, uh, lipstick, glosses, whatever, lip stains, I, you know, blush, highlighters, maybe even brow products. I've got nothing on except moisturizer and I'm this Maybelline. Um, but yeah, no, I, I just, I'm finding more and more that there are things in the box that I just won't use. And I feel like I'm paying, granted, I'm paying $25, $27 a month, whatever it is after taxes. That is a great deal. I'm not going to say that it's night. It's a great deal. But at the end of the day, it's not a deal if I'm not going to keep most of the products because I'm not going to use them. So it's kind of like, um, I feel like I'm starting to waste money on BoxyCharm. And I don't want to feel like that because I think this month might be my one year anniversary of work, uh, working, <laughs> of, of receiving a BoxyCharm. I think July is when I joined last year. I'm not sure. I, I would have to look. I think it's July. Um, I've been mostly happy. There's been times I've been very, very happy to get the box. And other times I'm like, this whole box is a bust. Like I'm not going to be able to use any of the stuff. Um, I have been able to build up my brush collection. So I'm happy about that. And I'm always happy to get new brushes. Sometimes you got to throw the old ones away. So that's great. I like getting brushes, but all this other stuff, it feels like filler. I, and I, I start to feel honestly a little cheated because I feel like where's my makeup? That's why I joined. I want makeup. There are other subscription companies out there 
like uh, the Tri Beauty box. I have seen influencers unbox that and I'm like, nice. Like there's some pretty cool stuff in there. Very colorful palettes. I, my experience so far with my BoxyCharm, because that's another thing. I see people with the same size BoxyCharm getting different products. And that's okay, I guess. But if they're getting eyeshadow palettes and I'm not getting, I'm like, what is the deciding factor? I mean, I know they have the Boxy Lux and the three tier, but there's people getting the smaller box um, and they're getting different things. So I don't know how they work that out, but I don't like the things that I've been getting. I have to be honest. I don't like the things that I've been getting. And I feel like for $25 a month, 25, 27, whatever it is, I could save that money and and go, you know, two months and go buy a palette I want, like an expensive palette that I know that I want and I know that I will use. Uh, and again, everything will look better in the future, but for now, uh, we're still in the renovating painting slash process, more, more painting. We have to paint the entire house. So um, thanks for watching. And I will be making the video to compare these things. Keep an eye out for that. And thank you for watching.